Here it is. Mossberg 590 A1 Special Purpose These are the shells I keep around the house. Inside the feed tube here on the Mossbergs, you'll see uh, what's called a shell interrupter to unload the gun. push it the shells will come out well, not every time though <laughs> evidently there's a, a fine art to it yeah so I keep five double lots in my magazine too and I keep my other magazines completely loaded but if I manage to make it to my safe and get to my shotgun I can always top it off so here we got nine federal double lot buck Nine Remington Sluggers. Nine Rio Star Low Recoil Slugs. Or you could put nine of any other birdshot or whatever two and three quarter inch shells you want in. So, let's see. Let's do a little comparison real quick on these guys just to see which one's the longest and then we'll make sure. Alright, so that slugger is longer than this Rio Star. Dad, are you done? No. And those two are the same length. So, let's see if we can fit nine of these in there. And the mark will be, if we can fit eight in the tube, then we know we can also put one in the chamber. Seven, eight, eight, eight slugs. You'll notice on the Mossbergs, the bolt is closed, and the feed ramp is lifted. Well, the lifter is up out of the way, which makes loading it a lot easier, in my opinion. I'm sure letting these shells slam into the back of the receiver is probably not the best thing to do. Alright, this Mossberg 590A1 does not have the speed feed stock. Uh, it is synthetic. Uh, has the uh, lug here for your strap. 
um, aluminum parkerized receiver, ghost ring sights, which are pretty sweet. Dual feed bars. This has the heavy, heavy barrel. The problem with that is, um, you know, you can't get a longer barrel for it. Plus, this being the A1. This is not a tube extension. So what I did there was I depressed the slide release and just hit the uh, butt of the gun on the ground there. And uh, you can see the, the bars where they engage the bolt assembly. And uh, so what I'm talking about is uh, what I wouldn't give for a stand. <laughs> Just a second. All right, so now that's loosened up. Just take your cap off the magazine. Have the uh, bolt midway here and then you simply oh duh you take your sling off the barrel and then OMG Alright, so here's the barrel off the gun 20 inch barrel The tube is a solid tube It's not an extension It is a purpose built 9 round capacity shotgun smooth bore I don't know if we're going to be able to do this or not but let's see you see down the bore how it's smooth and shiny up to a certain extent and then it's not smooth and shiny anymore. And it's a very distinct starting point for the difference in texture or appearance of the bore. I don't know if it's possible to say why. I can't find out why. I looked. I haven't been able to find out why. But anyway, I thought that was interesting. Alright, so this strap I got, I can't remember if it's Uncle Mike's or what, but got some sort of leather, faux leather peel here. It's really wide. This is rigid. I mean, it doesn't want to bend the uh, adjustment of it you just pull uh, see there's three here so you pull this either way to adjust the length of pull or the the length of the 
the strap right now I have it pretty much as short as it gets because I like it not to be flapping around in my safe and um, you know, it works good it's not a, a tactical not a tactical uh, sling but I like it and of course if you watch my gun collection you know that I pay special close attention to the fact that this gun has a bayonet lug I mean come on that is just amazing Oh yeah, I forgot, I picked some of these up the other day, so I guess I can just uh, take the double lot out, just put a few, you know, one or, one or two of these, uh, these slugs up in there, forget that last one for the chamber. Be ready to go.